Vadodara Gujarati pronunciation, Oda, formerly known as Baroda is the third largest city in the western Indian state of Gujarat, after Ahmedabad and Surat. It is the administrative headquarters of Vadodara district and is located on the banks of the Vishwamitri River, 141 kilometres from the state capital Gandhinagar. The railway line and NH8 that connect Delhi and Mumbai pass through Vadodara. It is known as a Sanskari city of India. As of 2011, Vadodara had a population of almost 2.065 million people. The city is known for the Lakshmi Vilas Palace, the residence of Baroda State's Maratha royal family, the Gaikwads. It is also the home of the Maharaja Sayajirao University of Baroda, the largest university in Gujarat. An important industrial, cultural and educational hub of western India, the city houses several institutions of national and regional importance while its major industries include petrochemicals, engineering, chemicals, pharmaceuticals, plastics, IT and foreign exchange services. History The first recorded history of the city is that of the early trader settlers who settled in the region in 812 AD. The province was mainly Hindu dominated with Hindu kings ruling until 1297. The Gupta Empire was the first power in the region in the early years of the CE. Later, the region was taken over by the Chalukya dynasty. By this time Muslim rule had spread across India, and the reins of power were then snatched by the Delhi sultans. The city was ruled for a long time by these sultans until they were overthrown by the Mughals. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The city used to be called Chandanavati after its ruler Raja Chandan of the Dor tribe of Rajputs. The capital was also known as Varukshetra or Vairavati land of warriors. Later on, it was known as Vadpatraka or Vadodara, which according to tradition is a corrupt form of the Sanskrit word Vadadar meaning in the belly of the banyan tree. It is now almost impossible to ascertain when the various changes in the name were made, but early English travellers and merchants mention the town as Bradara, and it is from this that the name Baroda is derived. In 1974, the official name of the city was changed to Vadodara. In 1907, a small village and township in Michigan, United States, were named after Baroda. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Old Ankotaka. It is believed that early man lived on the banks of the Mahi River, which formed the floodplain during that age. The movements of these hunter-gatherers, living on the banks of the river, grubbing the roots and killing animals with crude stone tools made out of the cobbles and pebbles available on the river bank, were necessarily controlled by the availability of convenient raw materials for their tools. There is evidence of the existence of early man in the Mahi River Valley at a number of sites within 10 to 20 kilometers (6.2 to 12.4 miles) to the northeast of Vadodara. However, no evidence of the existence of these people is found in and around present-day Vadodara. This may be because of the absence of gravels and cobbles on the banks of the Vishwamitri rivulet. Recent history Baroda state was a former Indian state. Vadodara's more recent history began when the Maratha general Palaji Gaekwad conquered Sangha from the Mughals in 1726. Before the Gaekwads captured Baroda, it was ruled by the Babi Nawabs, who were the officers of the Mughal rulers. Most notably, from 1705 to 1716, Sardar Senapati Khandarao Dabade led the Maratha Empire forces in Baroda. Except for a short period, Baroda continued to be in the reign of the Gaekwads from 1734 to 1948. Initially detailed to collect revenue on behalf of the Peshwa in Gujarat, Palaji Gaekwad remained there to carve out a kingdom for himself. Damajirao, who was son and successor of Palaji Gaekwad, defeated the Mughal armies and conquered Baroda in 1734. His successors consolidated their power over large tracts of Gujarat, becoming easily the most powerful rulers in the region. After the Maratha defeat in the Third Battle of Panipat in 1761, control of the empire by the Peshwas weakened as it became a loose confederacy, and the Gaekwad Maharajas ruled the kingdom until it acceded to Independent Republic of India in 1949. 
In 1802, the British intervened to defend a Maharaja that had recently inherited the throne from rival claimants, and Vidodara concluded a subsidiary alliance with the British that recognised the kingdom as a princely state and allowed the Maharajas of Baroda internal political sovereignty in return for recognising British paramountcy, a form of suzerainty in which the control of the state's foreign affairs was completely surrendered. The golden period in the Maratha rule of Vidodara started with the accession of Maharaja Sayajirao III in 1875. Geography Vidodara is located at 22.30 degrees north 73.19 degrees east, 22.30, 73.19 in western India at an elevation of 39 metres 128 feet. It is the 18th largest city in India with an area of 235 square kilometers, 91 square miles, and a population of 2.1 million according to the 2010-11 census. The city sits on the banks of the Vishwamitri River in central Gujarat. The Vishwamitri frequently dries up in the summer, leaving only a small stream of one. The city is located on the fertile plain between the Mahi and Narmada rivers. According to the Bureau of Indian Standards, the Cosmopolis falls under seismic zone 3, in a scale of I to V in order of increasing proneness to earthquakes. <laughs> <laughs> Climate Despite the roughly 800 mm of precipitation that the city receives annually, Vidodara features a semi-arid climate BSH under Köppen's climate classification due to the area's high potential of apotranspiration. There are three main seasons, summer, monsoon and winter. Aside from the monsoon season, the climate is dry. The weather is hot during March to July, when the average maximum is 40 degrees Celsius 104 degrees Fahrenheit, and the average minimum is 23 degrees Celsius 73 degrees Fahrenheit. From November to February, the average maximum temperature is 30 degrees Celsius 86 degrees Fahrenheit, the average minimum is 15 degrees Celsius 59 degrees Fahrenheit, and the climate is extremely dry. Cold northerly winds are responsible for a mild chill in January. The southwest monsoon brings a humid climate from mid-June to mid-September. The average rainfall is 93 cm in, but infrequent heavy torrential rains cause the river to flood like the 2005 Gujarat flood or the 2008 Indian floods which were catastrophic. The highest recorded temperature was 46.7 degrees Celsius .1 degrees Fahrenheit on the 11th of May 1960 crossed with 48.0 degrees Celsius .4 degrees Fahrenheit on 19 May 2016, while the lowest recorded temperature Temperature was minus 1.1 degrees Celsius, 30.0 degrees Fahrenheit, on the 15th of January 1935. Topic economy In Vadodara various large-scale industries such as Indian Oil Corporation IOCL, Gujarat State Fertilizers and Chemicals GSFC, Indian Petrochemicals Corporation Limited IPCL, now owned by Reliance Industries Limited and Gujarat Alkalis and Chemicals Limited GACL, have come up in the vicinity of Gujarat refinery and all of them are dependent on it for their fuel and feedstock. Other large-scale public sector units are Heavy Water Project, Gujarat Industries Power Company Limited GIPCL, Oil and Natural Gas Corporation ONGC, and Gas Authority of India Limited Gale. In addition to these public sector enterprises, a number of other large-scale enterprises have come up in the private sector such as Bombardier Transportation, located in Vadodara are over 35% India's power transmission and distribution equipment manufacturers and an estimated 800 ancillaries supporting the big players in power sector equipment manufacturing and engineering industry. In line with the Knowledge City vision of the Confederation of Indian Industry, Vadodara is gradually becoming a hub in Gujarat for IT and other development projects. Vidodara is also home to the Vidodara Stock Exchange VSE. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Civic Administration. Vidodara is administered by the Vidodara Mahanagar Seva Satan VMSS. Some of the regions surrounding the city are administered by the Vidodara Urban Development Authority VUDA. The VMSS was established in July 1950 under the Bombay Provincial Corporation Act, 1949. 
For administrative purposes, the city is divided into four zones and 26 wards. The two main institutions involved in planning and development in Vadodara are VMSS and the VUDA. The jurisdiction of both these agencies is demarcated clearly not only physically but also functionally. The governing acts for both the institutions differ. The principal responsibility of VUDA is to ensure a holistic development of the Vadodara agglomeration covering an area of 714.56 square kilometers, 275.89 square miles, whereas VMSS is involved in the development of area of 235 square kilometers, 91 square miles. Three corporators are elected from each ward, who in turn elect a mayor. Executive powers are vested in the Municipal Commissioner, who is an IAS officer appointed by the Gujarat state government. The mayor is responsible for the day-to-day -day running of the city services, municipal school board, the city bus service, the municipal hospital and the city library. The Vadodara City Police is headed by a police commissioner, an IPS officer. The city elects one member to the Lok Sabha parliament and five to the Gujarat Vidhan Sabha assembly. All of the five assembly seats of Vadodara were won by the BJP during the legislative elections in 2002. In the 2006 VMSS elections, the BJP won 74 seats, six seats went to the Congress. Election wards, 28 Seats corporators, 84 Population per ward, 31,122 Seats reserved for women, 26 Total voters as on 17 January 97, 809,185 Transport The city is on the major rail and road arteries joining Mumbai with Delhi and Mumbai with Ahmedabad. Due to this Vadodara is known as a gateway to the Golden Quadrilateral. Air Vadodara Airport IATA, BDQ, is located northeast of the city. Vadodara has flight connections with Mumbai, New Delhi, Hyderabad, Chennai, Kolkata, Jaipur, Indore and Bangalore. A new integrated international terminal has been constructed at the Vadodara Airport and was inaugurated in October 2016. Vadodara is the first green airport in Gujarat and second green airport in India after Kochi. Railway <inaudible> 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 Vadodara was part of the historic Bombay, Baroda and Central India Railway BBCI, which arrived in the city in January 1861. On 5 November 1951 the BBCI Railway was merged with the Saurashtra, Rajputana and Jaipur Railways to create the Western Railway. Vadodara Railway Station now belongs to the Western Railway Zone of Indian Railways and is a major junction on the Western Railway Main Line. Vadodara Junction Railway Station is Gujarat's busiest junction with almost 358 trains passing through every day. It comes under Vadodara Division of Western Railways. Passengers can travel to almost all the parts of India from Vadodara Junction, where there is a junction from the directions of Ahmedabad, Mumbai, Delhi and Kota all four directions. It has one of the largest electric locomotives sheds in Gujarat and various trains have a loco change over at Vadodara. Trains such as Rajdhani, Shatabdi, Duranto and important mail, express trains halt at Vadodara Junction. Apart from various small railway stations, Vadodara has ten major railway stations namely Vadodara Junction BRC, Pratapnagar, Vishwamitri, Makarpura, Karajan Miyagan, Itola, Varnama, Bawa, Rinoli, and Nandesari. Demographics. <laughs> <laughs> According to the 2011 India Census, Vadodara metropolitan area had a population of 1,822,221. In Vadodara, 9% of the population is under 6 years of age. Gujarati, Urdu, Marathi, Hindi and English are the languages spoken in the city. Males constitute 52% of the population and females 48%. People speaking different languages stay in the city. Apart from Gujaratis and Marathis, a significant population of North Indians, Rajasthanis, South Indians and Bengalis have settled in the city. 
All of them have various associations and community bodies in the city. Culture Vadodara is also known as Sanskari Nagari, i.e. cultured city and according to the Gujarat Tourism Authority is the most sought after location for the dance known as Garba. <inaudible> Religions and festivals Diwali, Uttarayana, Holi, Eid, Gudi Padwa, Ganesh Chaturthi, Navaratri, Garba, Maha Shivaratri are celebrated with great joy. Apart from this, Ganesh Chaturthi and Uttarayan are also celebrated with great zeal. During Ganesh Chaturthi, there are many Ganesh pandals stalls arranged at the streets of the city. These are kept for seven days or ten days before the idol of Ganesha is immersed in various water bodies in the city, and majority of them are immersed at Sursagar Lake. People also have these idols placed at their home for short periods. Uttarayan is a festival of kites, music and tilgud in the city. Before the festival starts, the markets are lined up with vendors selling kites, threads, balloons, and firecrackers as well as various local cuisines. At night the sky is illuminated by crackers, candles and fire balloons. The Marathi women here also perform Haldi Kumku. The most followed religion in the city is Hinduism, practiced by 85% of the population. The second most followed religion is Islam, followed by 12% of the population. All other religious groups make up the remaining 4% of the population. Art and architecture Vadodara has a vibrant history related to art and architecture. Since the era of royal Gaekwad family, it has been a hub of arts and literature. Hence, it has been bestowed the title of Kala Nagari Art City. Maharaja Sayajirao University offers innumerable arts courses within the campus. Topic: <laughs> Sports. Vadodara has a professional cricket team, the Baroda Cricket Team, as well as the oldest cricket ground in Asia, called Modi Bog. The team has won the Ranji Trophy six times. Reliance Stadium, a private cricket ground owned by Reliance Industries, hosts Otis. Some of the notable cricketers from Baroda are Atul Badade, Nayan Mangia, Irfan Patan, Yusuf Patan, Hardik Pandya, Kiran Moore, Krunal Pandya, Deepak Huda, Ambadi Rayudu, former Indian pacer Zahir Khan also grew up here. Media The city has five local FM stations, Radio City MHz, Radio Mirchi MHz, Red FM MHz, Big FM MHz, and All India Radio, Vivi Bharti MHz, Akashwani. Radio City MHz is known all over Vadodara for its Rag Rag Ma Vadodara City profile. All India Radio is broadcast on the AM band. Satellite Radio was launched in nearby city of Ahmedabad by World Space in 2005. Vadodara News Magazine VNM is a local news TV channel that covers events in the city. Topic places of interest Palaces, Laxmi Vilas Palace, Nazarbaug Palace destroyed, Makarpura Palace, Pratap Vilas Palace now occupied by Railway Staff College buildings and monuments, Maharaja Sayajirao University of Baroda, Kurdi Mandir, Kurdi Stamp, Nye Mandir, Khandarao Market, Aurobindo Ashram, Eam Temple Dakshinamurti Temple, Hazira Makbara, Kala Goda, Myrolgan Pati Mandir Museums and Gardens, Maharaja Fateh Singh Museum, Baroda Museum and Picture Gallery Gallery, Sayaji Bagh, Ajwa and Nimeta Garden Excursions, Ajwa and Nimeta, Dabhoi, Pavagad, Champaner Pavagad Archaeological Park, Kayavarahan, John Hanuman, Hathni Mata Waterfall, Dakor, Sursagar Lake, Dediapada, Vadavana Bird Sanctuary Temples, Lumbini Buddha Vihar Harni, Vanchara Darasar, Pavagad Temple Trimandir Vidodara, a non sectarian temple founded by Param Pujya Dada Bhagwan, where Samandar Swami, Sri Krishna Bhagwan, and Shiv Bhagwan are placed on the same platform. Platform. 